Hi guys and welcome to Subnautica. So we're going to start this little series on my channel and because this is more of an open world game we can start, stop it and things like that so there's no like um, dedicated episodes per week so we'll see how we go depending on my uni workload and my work workload but we'll see how we go. So let's jump in. I don't really know much about this game. I've seen gameplay of it a little bit um, and yeah Poet suggested it to me so let's see how we go. Uh, survival avoid dangerous creatures, find resources, and manage hunger and thirst. So I'm alone with only one life. No. So we're gonna do survival. All right, guys, here we go. Okay. So we've detached from something. I'm guessing a ship. And this is going great. Oh, straight to the face. Um a bit crispy. Everything's now not oh, that great. Everything's broken. Greetings, survivor. Great job not dying. To assist you in further survival in emergency situations, you have been issued this personal data assistant. The interface visible now will organize your inventory, display currently available construction blueprints, and holds other valuable information. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with it. Okay, so we can make all these kind of things once we collect stuff, I guess. So, initializing PDA in emergency mode, this program will catalog your inventory, regular essential information, and issue survival advice. Stimulation assessment time, T3 hours since planet fall, life pod hull secure, communications offline. Okay. Um... How do I? Oh, there we go. Can we put that away? Yeah. And suddenly we're just in automatically in clothing. Okay. The Aurora suffered catastrophic hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Okay, so there's the ship. What is this? Okay, that's like a like a thing. So I'm hoping my computer can hold up with this game because um, I turn the water onto like high, medium water but high quality just because I like my games to look pretty but um, yeah until I get the air conditioner fixed in my living room where I do record then we have to be careful not to overheat it. Okay what are you? Can I has you? New creature discovered. A peeper. Alright. Um. Oh no. I let the peeper go. New creature discovered. Okay. Attention. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with <laughs> ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained during collision. Continuing to monitor. Oxygen. Okay. Now. Okay. So we can make food. All right. 
Alright, alright. And then I'm guessing... Uh, left mouse button to eat. Okay. Wait, so what are we supposed to be doing right now? Blueprints. Okay. It's going for those accustomed to synthetic food to be repulsed by the thoughts of eating an animal carcass. Try to remember that humans survived this way for many years. You can too. The fabricator cooks small organic organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Okay. So, we need to fix things, I guess. Okay. So, do we need to make a repair tool or something? Solar panel, floating thing, thing. Fire extinguisher. Um. Inventory. Okay, no. What's this? Flashlight. Scanner. I know we'll need a handheld thing. Okay, a repair tool. Do we need magnesium, crayfish powder, and titanium? Okay. I don't really know where to get any of those things, so. Some more salt. Now, we do have oxygen levels, I see. Oxygen. All right, I see. Um. So do we want to go to the ship? I don't think so. <laughs> Metal salvage, okay. So, I guess we just collect a few things? Okay. I swear I heard something, but anyway. Okay, resources, personal. Equipment. Copper wire, battery we need, copper ore. Okay. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may cause a quantum detonation. Calculating risk assessment. Death by malnourishment, 7%. By physical injury, 11%. By exposure, 
to radioactive crash site materials, 19%. If the drive core is breached, probability of death increases to 65%. Okay. So, do we want to go in the water at night? How about first we just save this? Just to... Go near that thing over there, though. Hmm. Oxygen. See, I don't know if we swim over to the ship or not. Hmm. Continued degradation of the Aurora's okay, drive yep. core may cause a quantum detonation. Calculating risk assessment, death by malnourishment, 7%. By physical injury, 11%. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 19%. If the drive core is breached, probability of death increases to 65%. So we need a repair tool, basically. Is there anywhere here that we can put stuff? I guess you can make storage things later. Wall locker. See, we don't have any of this stuff. Can I just drop this stuff then? Okay, we'll see. I guess if we die, we die. There's some quartz. Break limestone. Okay. What is that? No, thank you. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Oxygen. <laughs> okay. I've got copper and quartz now. None of these things are right, like helpful right now to me, though. Um. Silicon rubber, crayfish powder. Did I need a battery for something? A scanner in the future. Let's make that. Oh, do we go in here and make it? of things.
Okay, so Local then... radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core. A quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise observing a one kilometer safety range. Okay, well, look lady, I'm trying to make some things first. Okay. Performing self-scan. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we can find then. Boomerang. New creature discovered. Well, here we go. Some more scrap. We need to go up and breathe. Okay, some more scrap. So how do I drop things from my inventory then? Ah, oh, right mouse. Okay. I don't really need titanium right now. this oxygen okay okay we're going we're going e no i didn't know it could run i didn't know that okay we made it right Emergency. Seismic readings suggest a quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state. A T minus. Ten. Nine, eight, oh, okay. seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, okay. Um, get to the pot, I guess. Okay. to survive that. Um. Okay. Um. Eat. Okay, what can we make now? 
Floating device that pumps air into pipes acts as a starting point for pipe chain. Pipes. Okay. A waterproof locker, storage that maintains position in the water. Oops. Okay. Um, sure. We'll just give it a minute. Um. Come on. Put the locker anywhere? Okay, yes, I can. No? Okay, so then. that's all we got time for for this episode so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next episode bye